Hi, this is Con Ozel. I want to welcome you to my website, resumes to jobs.com. I am a recruiting specialist and a job search strategist. So I want to help you in terms of providing you with the best tools and resources you can you can get your hands on in terms of helping you with your job search strategy. Now as a recruiter, um, there are definitely tools and techniques that we use to tap into the hidden job market and keep abreast of things and I want to begin to provide you with some of these tools. This is a video tutorial really quick very basic on how to set up your RRS feed reader to use as a strategic job search information tool. Now I'm going to particularly be using the Google feed reader so if you're already an avid RRS uh, feed reader user then this is probably a basic tutorial it's it's not going to probably provide you with any other information than you already know it's simply how to set it up so you probably want to move on to the next article about how to use it as a strategic job search information tool but if you read my last article and you're one of those job seekers out there that's never used RSS and you're not really familiar with it then you're probably a little bit enthusiastic to begin using it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly describe how you can set up your RSS feed reader and it's really a fairly simple process. There are a number of different feed reading platforms that you can use. But first, what we need to do is get you set up on the one that I prefer, which is Google. It's fairly easy to do. So what you need to do is open up your Google search box. And you want to type in Google feed reader. Hit enter and click on the first thing that comes up in the search results which you should have this domain reader.google.com and so you can see Google Reader located at reader.google.com you want to click on that and that will take you to the Google Feed Reader welcome page in which you either have a Google account and if you do then you just log right in if you do not have a Google account you want to click on the create an account button which is going to bring you to the create an account forum you want to fill out that information and set up your Google account once you've done that it's going to take you to the Google Reader landing page internally and I'm going to log in on mine here and then I'll meet you and pause the video and log in and I'll meet you on the other side Ta-da! So here we are at the Google Feed Reader landing page and what you'll see is some getting started information with Google Reader. You're welcome to go through this information and as you can see it says Reader is like a magazine you design. So let's just look at these different panels here. Consider those different landing pages for, um, consider those different websites that you would want information from those websites streamed into your feed reader. and what you can do is have the headlines from all these multiple websites streamed into one location. And that's basically what we're going to do. Now what you need to do is you need to go to those websites and subscribe to their RSS feed. Now how you do that, there's quick and simple ways. You click on add a subscription button up in the top left under Google Reader and you'll get a drop down box that requests information. It's particularly requesting the feed URL. So I'm going to take you back to <clears throat> resumes to jobs and you'll see on the right side of the navigation bar is subscribe with the popular RSS icon so what you want to do is right click on that button select properties which is going to bring up the URL address you want to highlight the URL address right click on that select copy close that box go back to your Google feed reader and in the request box right click select paste and it's going to drop that URL in the box. You click add and ta-da! You've subscribed to your first RSS feed. Now resumes to jobs is listed in, under your subscription and you can go to multiple websites and do that on all those websites and you'll have a list of subscriptions here and what you see in your RS feed reader are the latest articles that I've published into the blog. So this way you can see real-time updates and headlines from multiple websites in one location. So you can probably start to figure out already how you can use this as a strategic job search information tool. And as you'll see it says that this was posted 20 hours ago. So you know there's a little time lag in terms of when the information gets published to the sites that you're interested in and, and they get pushed to your feed reader, but it's fairly quick. <clears throat> Now, you can then begin to organize your subscriptions into folders. 
so that you can sort by oldest, newest, and categorize them. So we can create a folder, job, search, training, and that folder be created and you can drop the subscription to that folder. So you can create multiple different folders for different topics to in and begin to drop your subscriptions into those folders. Now there are other ways as well in which you can subscribe to these RSS feeds on these websites. One is back on resumes to jobs you can left click on the subscribe and what that's going to do it's going to take you to this subscription page it's going to list the different feed reading platforms that you could potentially be using um, it's identified the one that I'm using already so I just click subscribe with Google and it'll bring you to your feed reader and you will may have to click here subscribe again or confirm your subscription and you'll have multiple subscriptions populated within your subscriptions panel the other way you can do this let's back up the other way you can do this is on the left hand side of the website you can see here these subscribe via RSS buttons that I've included on the page and those are pretty much the popular RSS feed readers you would click on the button if you see it for your particular feed reader it's going to take you through the process of going through the subscription process and ultimately you'll end up with another subscription from that particular website in your subscriptions panel so I'm guessing you're probably already figuring out how you can begin to use this as a strategic tool during your job search but what I would recommend you do is go through the process go through the steps I've identified set up your Google Reader subscribe to resumes to jobs and that way you'll be getting the posts, the tips, the tools, the training that I'll be posting on my blog and as well then move on to the next article where we're going to talk about how to use this tool strategically during your job search. So I want to welcome, I want to thank you again for joining me at resumes2jobs.com and if you're at all looking for any personal one-on-one -on -one help and coaching do visit the, um, the coaching page and I will be happy to work with you. Uh, best success in your job search.